Hi, this is Tanner from Seed Code, and I'd like to talk about a few ways to customize the way events display in Dayback. So the first thing you may want to customize is the way event text shows up here on the events themselves. And um, that's pretty easy to do. If we just go to the file menu here and down to manage database, uh, we can navigate to our sample events table. In your case, it may be your events table, whatever you're using to store your events. And there's a, a calculation field here called event summary calc. And if we double click here, we can check out what's going on here in this calculation. So we just have a simple uh, field mapping here where we're mapping uh, some let variables to fields that we want to display. And uh, you can see here, this is a pretty simple summary, description, uh, name, phone, email, uh, and we could add more if we wanted to. Uh, but then those are compiled down here in a simple substitute function. So if we do want to add more or remove these, we just need to make sure that we make those matching changes down here in the substitution fun function. If you're not comfortable editing this uh, function here, or this substitute, uh, just simply if you want to hide something, uh, all you have to do is put uh, double quotes down there. So let's say we wanted to hide phone number, email, and our contact name. We just go double quotes in each spot here. And then maybe we don't want to show the summary or title field here is the main thing. Maybe status is the most important thing to us. So what we can do is actually swap this out for the status field. And maybe description isn't important at all, so we won't show that. And we can put summary in its place. Now our event will show status, summary, and then nothing for the contact information. And again, if you, if you wanted to you know, make this match the title with the field, you could change these. Just make sure to make the change also down here. So when we're done editing, we can just say OK, OK. And then that's going to lo load up these changes immediately. And you can see the ones that are, have colors here are the ones that have statuses assigned to them. And so you can see our status is paused with errors. Uh, we get a little pipe delimiter uh, separating that with our title or summary field. And uh, so same here, paused questions. Uh, we have one over here, begun. And then anything that's gray uh, is one that doesn't have a status assigned to it. So you just don't see anything there. The status is just not assigned. Uh, so a pretty nice little system here that we can add new fields. And if they're empty, it just doesn't show anything. This way we don't get additional pipe characters when they're not needed. And we can actually even customize uh, the pipe character. So the where, where we do that is if we go to Manage Database, and again, we're going to go to our, our Events table. And then we're going to go to the Web Viewer Source field right below the Summary Calc field where we just were. And there is a little option here, Define Options here, and Return Separator. And right now it's Space Pipe Space. But if you wanted to make that a dash, for example, we could change that to a dash. And we could say OK and OK. And again, we should get our changes showing up here immediately. And now you can see all of those pipes have now been changed to a dash. So if you want to change that return character substitution, uh, it's easy to do that also. So the other thing you may want to customize here uh, is within the popover. You don't necessarily, or everybody doesn't necessarily need all of these fields. Maybe you aren't using end times or resources, or, or maybe you don't want to display a status. We can actually hide uh, some of these fields on a source by source basis. And where we do that here is in Manage Scripts. And then we're going to scroll down to uh, Load Source Settings at Startup. So this is the script where we define our options for each source. And we actually have a little setting down here called hide popover items. So if we double click here on hide popover items, we can specify our calculation. And uh, we have a few options we can put in here. So end, resource, status, contact, and project. Uh, we kind of get started with the format that we'd like you to use. You can actually even leave this in place because we don't have a field named that, so it won't affect anything. And we can just start typing here. So let's say we don't want to show resources and we don't want to show um, maybe contact. So we can hide, we can elect to hide those two things. So we'll say OK, OK, and then we'll just save this script here. Uh, we do need to run the upon opening script again because these settings are loaded at startup. So once we run the upon opening script, and then we can come back to our uh, event here and click on it. And you can see now that those two fields are hidden. We'd have, we have no uh, resource field and we have no contact field. So I can click 
you know, on these guys, I can't click anywhere down here. So that's effectively uh, disabled those, those options here. Now that data can still be set on the back end in FileMaker fields, but we just don't display it here in the popover and we don't allow those to be edited. So hopefully that gives you a little more insight in some really quick, simple ways you can customize the way events display and some interactions here in the popover.